geometry and we're going to try to find the midpoint of a line segment joining a at negative 410 to b at 8 negative 8 so we'll start in the geometry application first off as usual file new just to tidy things up then we're going to tap onto the axes axes with scale axes with dot grid and axes with a line grid on the background because we're doing some coordinate work now at the moment the scale is too small for us to fit these points on so I'm going to zoom out a couple of ways of doing that the first is to tap view zoom out and if I did that again view zoom out we actually lose the grid there there's a couple of other ways we can do this over here we've got the plus and minus keys if I hit plus that's zoom in now let's try it again plus is zoom in and minus is zoom out so these two keys are hot keys we'll also see this uh, equals key works as an auto scale when our drawing goes off the uh, the window here hitting equals if nothing's selected will um, auto scale the drawing surface for us anyway we're ready to go here so we need the line segment tool here it is underneath this set of tools the top right one is the line segment and I want to place a at negative 410 so negative 410 is around about here I tap there close enough to the grid lines class pad will lock it exactly to that point because I've got the snap to grid on the other point is at 8 across and 8 down so that's roughly around here now it's hard to count squares so as soon as I tap on the drawing surface notice in the bottom corner of the screen here um, are the coordinates of where class pad is going to leave the end of the line so here we go as soon as I set this to 8 negative 8 and let go Bing, class pad snaps the two points exactly to the required coordinates. Now, once we've got the line drawn, I need the select tool and I'm going to tap onto the line to select it and then use the draw, construct and midpoint option. And as soon as I release that, the point C has been popped onto the middle of this line segment. So I'll deselect, tap onto C and now to actually find the coordinates I need to head off to the measurement toolbar by tapping this little button here we are we're seeing the measurement toolbar because I've got a point selected it's giving me the coordinates of that point and it's at 2 1